USF recovery team here with your next installment of our quick tech tips. Today we're going to be installing some coil spring spacers in our Jeep Rubicon and we're going to show you a homemade tool that will help make that job a whole lot easier. To make this tool we're going to start out by using some scrap iron that we had laying around the garage here. Uh, this particular piece happens to be one inch by eighth inch thick. What we're going to do is we're going to make some clips that will actually hold the coil spring slightly compressed and make it easier to take in and out of the Jeep and install the spacers. Start out by heating our metal so we can bend a nice little curl around the bolt which is about the same diameter as the rod in our coil spring. Then we'll measure off about six inches, mark it, and put another curl in. Then we trim off the curled ends so they just hook over the coils of the spring. Let's check it out and see how it fits. Oh, look at that. A little pry bar action. And it fits like a glove. Now we got to make two more so we can space them out around the spring. Now with our three homemade clips in place and our shock unbolted, jack stands underneath the bumper we should be able to jack it up, take the jack stand out from underneath the axle, let the axle hang, and easily remove our spring. Then, as you can see, the spring drops right out. With our bump stop removed, we can now slip the coil spring spacer up. Put our bump stop holder back in. Next thing is to squeeze the bump stop back up in there. And now we should be able to slip our coil spring back into place. With a little help from a pry bar. Now with everything back in place, we can jack up the axle, put 
Reattach the shock. With the shock reattached, now we can remove our clips. And there you have it, a simple little set of tools you can make at home to make a job a whole lot easier. This has been a quick tech tip from BSF Recovery Team. <laughs>